In today's video, I wanted to share some of the finer points of the bath and the laundry room, and I'll begin with the telephone. Now, uh, this telephone box was featured in the last video with a turquoise telephone, and that turquoise telephone goes uh, to the uh, laundry room. But um, I was waiting for this telephone to arrive, and uh, so I said uh, once uh, that arrived, I did want to share that with you. So uh, it looks quite nice uh, with the decor of the bathroom. And both telephones are from the 1960s. And then you see some of the personal items in the cabinet there. And then there is a hairbrush on top. And this is the uh, magnetic wall that I made. And so I wanted to put that to uh, the side so I could show you everything that is going on in the bathroom. Now, one of the things that I did um, is I extended the toilet, or rather the tank, by half an inch here, and I'll insert uh, what it looked like, the profile of it, uh, in uh, the video so you could see the difference. But I extended it by half an inch so it would uh, correspond with the commode. And then uh, in a previous video, I made uh, the stand for it because the toilet uh, was too low on the floor. Uh, but I uh, made a, a simple cardboard box and I shellacked it with a uh, gloss Mod Podge. And then I added um, basswood pieces on the top for flooring. And then that was painted. And then in the video for uh, the toilet, I uh, made a plunger. And the plunger is made out of polymer clay and a skewer. And both of those projects were uh, really fun to do. Um, the next thing I did was I uh, made a paper towel holder, and that paper towel holder is made out of matte board and um, a uh, square dowel. And I cut all of the pieces down to uh, small square pieces, and uh, at first I used uh, only one uh, um, square dowel piece on each end, and um, I noticed that the paper towel was much too close to the wall. Now, it's a little bit better because I've added those... Uh, the um, extra pieces on there. So uh, I took uh, the other two pieces and I stacked that on top, glued them, and uh, so it worked out quite a bit better. And then uh, what I uh, did was I pushed um, the two ends closer uh, inside so that would uh, give uh, the, the uh, skewer for the paper towel a tighter fit. And all I did was cut that down. And of course there's the paper towel. And I can put that right back in into the holder there, and it works out quite nicely. So I have a Kleenex box here, and I shared that in the uh, last video that featured the uh, telephone box and the uh, magnetic wall. And uh, so this box is made out of matte board and so it's painted gold and then I took one coat of gloss smudge podge put that over it and then sprinkled glitter on it and then I left one end open so I could insert the the, uh, the uh, Kleenex and then I closed it up and so that was a really fun project as well and then I have a box of Midol and um, Colgate toothpaste on the top there and this item here is a compact and it has B for Barbie on the outside there and then when you open it up it has a little little uh, powder puff inside so I think that's very adorable and that's more contemporary and uh, let's see let me move the camera in just a tad bit closer now the other items I have here are um, two bottles of uh, a, actually a shampoo and a conditioner of Mane and & Tell. And this is a um, bottle of syrup, a cough syrup, uh, that came with my Lucy doll and it also came with a spoon. And uh, this is uh, from a famous episode um, that I think it was called uh, Lucy Does a TV Commercial. 
and uh, it featured Lucy um, taking several teaspoons of the uh, vitamin, I think it's vitamin, vegemin is how it's pronounced. I'm, I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly, but uh, she took several of these and uh, it had alcohol in it and uh, she was quite intoxicated. <laughs> so that's one of my favorite episodes, but um, I wanted to uh, have that featured in this video and on the back of the toilet. And I'll even show uh, the two bottles of Main and Tell here. These pieces are so small. Let me see if I can reach for it. There we go. And so there are miniature bottles of Main and Tell, the conditioner and the shampoo. And I'll put those back up. And then I have a tray of perfume bottles. And I'm losing, lost the toilet paper there and so there are four bottles there and so there's Coco Chanel I think there's uh, Chanel number no. five Joy and Dior on the tray and I'll be as careful as I possibly can I'm putting that back up and I'll have to find the uh, toilet roll and uh, roll behind uh, the toilet <laughs> so um, the next item that I made was a um, a toilet brush and caddy, and so the toilet brush is made out of pipe cleaners, and then uh, a skewer. So there are two pipe cleaners attached, and then I wrapped it around the bottom there, and then took some tape and um, to secure it, and then I painted over it, glued it uh, down, and secured it. And then the caddy is made out of card corrugated cardboard, and I just added this piece on the top so that would give um, so the um, toilet brush uh, could stand up. But um, I rounded it off, and then I attached it on the back there, and then of course I put a bottom on. And so that was a lot of fun to do. And if I can reach for the for the toilet paper. There we go. Got it. And I'll put that back on the toilet holder here. And then we'll put the caddy back in. And then of course you know that I made a scale. And the scale is made out of mat board. And then I put a backing on it. And um, there was paint and uh, glitter on the back so I wanted to cover that up and give it a cleaner look. And so that was a lot of fun to do. And of course, a waste basket. And there's a video on that as well. And then the toilet paper holder. And then I'm going to move in again just a little bit more. Now I made a uh, soap dish and a cup holder. Now the cup holder is made out of mat board. And so uh, I just took a, a square piece of mat board and I made a um, small box and I attached it and painted it. And then the soap is from the 1960s and one side says soap and the other uh, has a B on it. And the paper, excuse me, and the uh, cup holder is made out of mat board and corrugated uh, cardboard. And let me move this over just a little bit more here. There we go. And then there's the cup. So uh, the uh, mat board uh, is made into a rectangle. And, uh, and then I rounded it off again. And then I put a bottom on there. And then, of course, that's painted. And so the cup fits right inside. And so we'll put that right back in. And then I have a, uh, a bottle of body and hand wash there. And hopefully I can put that back on there because I've dropped it a couple of times. And there we go. And uh, let's see, what else did I do? Um, and I wanted to show you some of the uh, wall plugs. Now there's one down on the bottom there between the toilet and the uh, sink. And then there is the light switch there, and then there's another plug, and then there is 
another right there here on the bottom there I'll show you the lamps that I have attached to the wall now this other lamp I have changed that battery a number of times and uh, it keeps uh, draining the battery so I'm going to have to uh, get with the seller on that one but uh, what I did was I glued the magnetics or the magnets on the wall and then there's a magnet on the back of the lamp and so there is a little switch here that goes on and off and then I can just attach that back on the wall there and you could hear the click there and then on the um, blinds here and these are uh, charms turtle charms and I just attach those on the ends and of course you know about the blinds and I think that's about all that I have going in the uh, bathroom And now we'll move on to the laundry room. And I'll move the camera here. And uh, there are some more, um, some more uh, wall plates there. So there's a light wall plate, and then there's another um, plate on the bottom there. And then there's one here by the door. And then you see the tulip lights there tulip lamp and then there's the fire uh, the uh, fire extinguisher and uh, the kidney bean table and then that little clock there um, is uh, from a seller on SD and she does uh, fabulous work so I will make sure that I will link her uh, store in the description and of course you see the ironing board cabinet there and then there's a little card in the corner there and and that actually rolls and then I have a package of bounty that should have gone back into the corner here so I'll put that back in and then uh, that's a metal fan there and one of my subscribers uh, inquired about that and so I purchased that on uh, eBay and this is a vintage metal fan for a dollhouse and this is uh, from about uh, the 19, I would say probably 1940s, 1960s, and uh, has an opening on the back. And I considered putting an extension cord on the back, but I um, decided not to, just to leave it as is. But uh, that's a very nice little accent for the uh, laundry room. And then this iron is an official Barbie iron, and this iron is from the 1960s. And uh, in a video um, that I did on the ironing board cabinet, there was a uh, very, very tiny iron uh, that was not uh, in proportion uh, to um, the, uh, my Barbies. And um, so I had, to, um, I had to be refunded on that, but uh, that was a uh, misadvertisement on the uh, seller's part. So, um, but anyway, I'm so glad that I got uh, this iron, and uh, so this uh, works out way better. And then you see the uh, Deluxe Reading Dream Kitchen items there at the top and on the washer and the Charmin. And of course the cabinet there. And let me go around here. You see the hand vac there. This little item here is a waste basket and it's made just like the one in the bathroom except this is made out of uh, cardboard and it's painted silver and then I took flat back pearls and put along the top and I'll put that back in the corner and then there's the turquoise telephone and then a clock radio and a um, TV there from the 1960s both items are from the 1960s 60s and then there is the tulip lamp there and then I um, did this to the windows. I've added uh, uh, cross panels there. And then these, of course, are um, the uh, roll curtains there. And there's the other window. And then this is more of a contemporary piece, but there is a chair there. 
And so um, I knew that that would add uh, a nice little touch to uh, the laundry room. I forgot, uh, I wanted to mention uh, the uh, perfume boxes and the perfume tray. And um, each of the pieces are made out of matte board. And that includes the uh, little gold pieces on them, and those were painted. But uh, in the case of this box, um, I took uh, some uh, cardstock and I painted uh, the cardstock, and then I just wrapped the box. And so uh, this uh, resembles a Chanel box. But um, I also took um, took a um, cellophane bag. I cut it, and then I wrapped it uh, wrapped it around uh, each of the boxes. And then I took some fabric tack because the fabric tack uh, dries clear, and so um, and so I did that. And it uh, they all resemble boxes that you would see at um, a perfume counter. So, and here's a green one. And then this one is was painted purple and sprinkled with purple glitter. And this one was painted black and sprinkled with black glitter. And then I think this was called Royal Gold that I uh, painted that. And then I did the same thing with it as I did with the uh, with the pink box. As for the tray, as I said, this is made out of matte board and it's also made out of basswood. So uh, the edges, the sides were made out of basswood and, uh, and so is the center. And then I put a piece of uh, matte board in the center there and then I put a piece of matte board on the bottom there. And then I put three coats of um, treasure gold on it and to finish it off. So that's what I did with that. And so I hope you enjoyed this um, closer look at the bathroom and the laundry room. And I enjoyed sharing this with you. And if you have any questions or any suggestions on what I should um, make next for any part of this project, um, please do share. And um, I will see you all later. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.